What's up guys? Sorry I've been away for so long. As you can see I've got some uh, some major house living situation type changes going on. I had a couple problems with my uh, laptop as well. I had to replace the solid state drive because it was crapping out on me. But that's why I've been away for so long. I wasn't ignoring you. I promise I wasn't ignoring you. I just had a lot of stuff going on. But we're going to get back to it. This is my living room right now. Big mess. But that's alright. We're getting it squared away right now. So uh, yeah. Back to the video. <sighs> I got nothing. Yo, Darius Britt here, and today we are talking about brainstorming ideas for a short film. So I get asked this question a lot. Yo, D4, how do I come up with ideas for a short film? Well, the shorter answer is everybody pretty much has their own methods, but the long answer, well, let's talk about that. Here are a few tips on how to get those juices in the brain percolating for some ideas. Number one, establish a routine. If you write and brainstorm on a regular basis, this definitely helps a lot. It takes work to generate ideas. So there are a lot of people out there that don't like to write unless they get a burst of inspiration to do so, and coincidentally, those people don't tend to get that many ideas. The funny thing about inspiration is it tends to catch you when you're working. So what, I gotta write for like an hour a day? Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be an hour a day, but you do need to establish some kind of regular routine because the more time you spend thinking about it, the more opportunities you're gonna have to get inspired. Number two, write what you know. Now this is definitely an old writer's cliche, but it is very, very true. You can pull from your own experiences, emotions, and stories and expand on them. Yeah, my life's not really that interesting, so basically you're telling me to write boring character dramas. Not necessarily, you can still make genre films like sci-fi or horror, but the characters that you come up with, the situations, the relationships, the choices that they make, all those can be informed by your own personal experiences. Number three, the Game of Opposites. Now this could be a fun little game to play to help get those thought juices going. The rules to the game are pretty simple, really. You just take pre-existing ideas or concepts that are already out there and you flip them, try to find the opposite. For example, aliens. As we mostly know aliens and alien movies, they're always organic carbon-based beings, just like humans. Well, what if the aliens were made of metal instead? Why would they be made of metal? How would that work? What would they do? <laughs> That's stupid, that'll never work. Well, thinking along those lines, Lines, you could end up with something like, say, Transformers. Metallic aliens, right? Now, I'm not saying this is how they came up with Transformers. I'm just saying that this exercise is a handy way for you to come up with stuff. Number four, watch other films. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten ideas just by watching other people's work. A lot of the times, you know, you'll be watching someone else's film and ideas will just kind of come to you because you're thinking of ways that you would have done what they did differently. How many of you out there have watched a short film somebody else has made and thought something kind of like this to yourself? Eh, you know, that kind of works. But if I was doing a zombie flick, I would... Boom! That's the seed for an idea right there. You put your own little twist on it, and then you run with it, and then you see what happens. Number five, the magical notebook. So this is actually a thing. It's not everybody's thing, but it definitely is a thing, and it does work. Carry around a little notebook, you know, throughout the day, and jot down ideas as they come to you. Sometimes ideas will straight smack you right in the face at the oddest times, and if you don't have some type of medium to record them right then and there, then you might forget them and this has happened to me more times than I care to remember, and it sucks. It also helps to jot down little things that may have happened to you or interesting things that you see happening around you. So then later on when you're trying to brainstorm ideas or maybe flesh out an idea, you can whip out that little magic book and you know, you might have a couple ideas in there waiting on you. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I totally remember that now. I totally forgot about that. Now I just remember this just now. Number six, research. Research works wonders. Take some time and learn about something that fascinates you. Research can give you a ton of ideas. It can give you a ton of ideas for plot points. It can give you ideas to fix plot holes. It can help you avoid inaccuracies. Research can give you fresh ideas and a new way to tell an old story. If you want to make a film about love, then take some time and learn about love. If you want to make a film about telepathy, research what scientific theories are out there that if, you know, you mix a little sci-fi into it could very well make te telepathy a possibility. But research everything. Done. Seven, list your resources. Sometimes taking time to list what locations, props, and actors you have access to can give you ideas for a story. Your dad got a, an old sword collecting dust in a basement? Well then pull that sucker out, dust it off, drum up a story, and use it. This is a very practical way to come up with a story because you already have access to a lot of these things, which would make it a lot easier to shoot. I got access to this piggy bank. 
done. Other things to consider. Keep it simple. Some of the best shorts revolve around a very simple premise. Your story does not need to be very complicated. In fact, the more simple your story is, the better for a couple reasons. One, if you got a simple story, you don't need a lot of setup, which means you eliminate a lot of explaining. And two, simple stories are really easy for your audience to just pick up and know what's going on. Ah. Uh... The Black Hole is a short about a guy who discovers a black hole and we see what he does with it. What's Virgin mean is a short that dramatizes that whole oh so relatable moment when your kid asks you what a virgin is. The Girl with the Yellow Stockings is a short that dramatizes when a boy asks a girl to marry him. These are all very simple stories. They don't really require much setup and explaining, if any. Live a little. As artists, in order to create stories, we need raw materials. And those raw materials are our experiences. Everything from where you work, relationships, the games you play, school, movies you've seen, all of these experiences become the building blocks for our future ideas. So should you find yourself having an extremely hard time coming up with ideas, put the pencil down for a second, Go out and live a little. Do something you haven't done before. Go try something. Try something new. Jump off a cliff. Don't jump off a cliff. Don't do that. I didn't recommend jumping off a cliff. Just go try something you haven't tried before and go meet people that you haven't met before. Well, that doesn't make any sense. If you haven't met them, then you... Just go do stuff. Go do stuff. Damn it. Well, that's all I got for you. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like. Oh, subscribe. You can also catch me on the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, or the Twitter, baby. You can also check out my second YouTube channel, Darius Britt, where I vlog about my adventures with my first feature link film, Unsound, live casting on the film festival circuit, etc., etc. And I do believe that's all I got for you, suckers. Deeper down. Booyah.